Hello and welcome to a deck profile from YCS Bologna 2023. Who are you with and what do you play? Sorry, I play Mechanicus. All right, explain this deck real quick first and foremost. Why'd you pick it? What's the what's the idea? It's so fun. I think Mechanicus. Oh, is we play because really, it's fun. All right. It's really fun, but it's very competitive at the same time. It's a combo based deck. I like to play it as a combo based deck and not how most people usually play it. It's a good second deck. And there's lots of different options, different lines. Um, it's complicated and I think it's very creative. One. Okay, cool. Hey, YCS champion, can you shut up, please? We're doing a deck profile. <laughs> God. All right, uh, let's get into this. So we we'll start with the Mekanga stuff. Free Ahime, the best card. Too hard. I on it. I wanted to put this down to one, but I couldn't. Um, I explain in a bit why. Huli, Spirit Walk, the field spells, uh, the equip spells, my Washidori. Um, Ritual Kagura, so Ceremony, like, like uh, Rondo, like, uh, uh, Fire Dance, and Free Arabesque. So that's like one like, engine. This deck is just mostly full of engines. I prefer not to play hand traps. I prefer just like the engine is very good at going second and breaking board. So I prefer to just do that rather than play hand traps. In this is a 50 card deck as well, so it's very difficult to have everything down to like 40 ish because there's some dead cards that you don't really want to draw. So it's okay to push it to 50. Um, the second engine is just a Devil Star engine. Um, this mainly gets jet. Showing a bit why. Um, then we have the warrior stuff, which is the equips and the warriors. This goes with Fenrir. Um, so most people played in Makankos. They played play like three and two, or even three and three. The problem is I like to play Lava Ball. It's like the only board breaker I have. Like I said, the deck is very good at going second anyway, so I didn't really need feel, feel the need for it anymore. And I wanted as least normal summons as possible. That's why I cut this down to two. I wanted even one. Um, when you go second and you, you drop this, you just want as many special summons as possible, including things like Fenrir. Um, the third, like sort of mini engine, is uh, Souls and Illusions. This is the most organized profile I've seen, yeah. Simon. <laughs> I'll show you slight combos later, but it, this deck has no linear combo. Everything is like a two card because of this, because of um, Bradamante being able to equip like anything to Hare and then Hare searching. Um, this deck doesn't have any set combos, but just lots of little two card combos and gives you access to lots of different lines. I think the one the one glaring thing that a lot of people didn't do with Makankos was this can discard this. I know because you're, you're full of spells anyway. This and any other um, charmer, any other any other charmer can go into Celine and then bring back this this sets and you go into your other combos that way. Yeah. This is not very organized, but um, it's hard to explain all the combos with everything here. These three? You, you want to see this all the time because you're trying to use a soul to resolve into again to give them something to draw to and then these become active. Also, this becomes active because you fire dance with someone wants it to their side as well. So if they like ash you and you fire dance summon something and then you summon back their ash, then you can search and then this usually searches things like, if you go in second, maybe like harpies or um, evenly, which I have on the side. If you go first, this can go into this, can go into Ohime, like everything searches everything in a way. You, you never stuck for place, three of these. It's, uh, it's nice that this gets Kagura back from the graveyard as well. Kagura is, is insane, like going second, it just pops, it just pops, uh, non-targeting pops out of nowhere and it does damage as well. Um, Harpies and Reborn. So, what's the idea with Reborn? Because no one plays that anymore. What's that about? Uh, the, I, why is I it good in this thing? I like um, Ed Exception, Chris Lynn, and Zach. We tested this since YCS Indie. The deck was originally his idea with the Golem, but um, we changed it up so much that we made it into more of a combo deck. Like, um, the Fenris was Ed's idea, the Black Witch was another friend of ours' idea. Um, the Golem, Golems were mine, the uh, Celine um, Souls version was mine. Um, the Reborn is because if you get nibbed sometimes, you can Reborn and still carry on comboing. You just, when you go in second, you just always want to special summon. Sometimes you special summon the Isolde, sometimes you special summon the Black Witch. There's lots of very valuable things that you can just special summon and it, it just 
it doesn't well, come off as uh, for the extra dirt. <laughs> Her, the charmers. I mean, These are insane with souls. It just links climb into um, no Celine and brings back Black Witch. And then you can either go into um, the power tool line, or you can. Uh, and then after after you doing the power tool line, you can make either access code or Appaloosa. Um, with the Celine, uh, we have uh, two SP, absolutely necessary. Sometimes you link Klein with two random materials into SP and then a warrior goes into Soul. The Soul discard needs to be banned. Transfers is insane. Like, sometimes I'm not even giving them Golem. Like, the Golem line isn't the most popular. It's kind of a risky line now because everyone knows about it, they have some out sometimes. Especially if I don't talent look at the hand, I don't really like to risk it and go for Golem. Like for example, this pointing to an, the Unchained Rage Monster, uh, or like any anything they'd want to pop in Unchained, like this stops it from being destroyed. So they can't pop it as well. Like this can catch some people off. Um, yeah, sometimes I just I just give them something just to get the gen back, ripping the card out of the hand, and then either Ohime will use Rondo to take that last monster to link it to something else, or just Baron pop uh, Celine and Golem. So I'll go over like one quick combo because I I think the combo that everyone else plays it's like relatively known. Let's say you have like um, this and like any tuner you, you can have Badmante or access to this which is like Black Witch basically, right? So these two can go into well that that, that can search Rise Heart as well uh, just because it's a warrior. Um, these two go into Cell Synchro brings about this. And then goes into power tool, and power tool will most likely equip these three. So when you do that, you have two lines here. You either use uh, you either use this first to get Renault, and from here you either use Arabesque to go into Hare, and this would get uh, Fire Dance, and then now. This on a field with this, that's a soul line, right? And you have that for follow up. You, you can, this can get back like any equip. If you choose to equip something else to the um, to the power tool, of course, when you bounce it back, that will go to the graveyard and this comes out, this comes out, and this can add back anything. And that is it's sold into again. Or you can, if you don't want to use the Iron Mask, you can discard whatever. There's, there's a lot of like dead cards, like you, you add a lot of things. Like you can, if you added Rise Heart from this. You can pitch Rise Heart, or if you have a dead Lava Golem, you can do that, go into Baron. Um, and this would add back any like Fire Warrior in the graveyard to hand. So like, there's different lines of values. Um, like if I don't Acid Golem, if I, go, if I go for Acid Golem, there's two main lines that I, I end up with. I have a Acid Golem here with SP. No material though, because I use um, I make SP first, and then I use the Ken effect, give them Gen, and then Gen would activate Chaining 2 would be SP, banish them both. So when they come back, this goes back to my opponent's side with no material, so it can't attack, and they have to take 2k. So, like, a board like either this or this with Rondo, the Snatch Deal in Graveyard, would be a standard Golem board. If I'm not doing Golem, it would be something like something like this. Like if I if I have a really good hand, it would be something like this with the with the uh, mechanical trap. Um, I think this deck, this even after playing for three events, it's not. I'm not still playing it like 100% optimally. The lines are so blurred sometimes, and there wasn't any matchup where I felt. I was stuck. Even against Troll sometimes, I can play past it. Um, I think to play it perfectly, you, you do need like a week or so just purely testing all the lines and the interactions as well. But if I, if, I went to, if I went through every single niche interaction with this deck, it would take like 30 minutes, so I, I can't do that. Um, so I'm gonna get this out of the way. All right, side, side deck is... These four. These four are mainly for Centurion going second. As you can see, the deck is like it doesn't stop anything. It, it lets you do everything. So if they calamity me, it can be an issue if I can't survive. 
Like the only Centurion match I played, I managed to survive and then kill him eventually because I used Ohime Search Huli, Summon Huli, and I happened to draw this, which is lucky. So I just set that and I survived for the turn by taking up his monster and he can't kill through this, through Huli that can't be targeted and can't be destroyed by battle. Um, but yeah, normally when you lose the die roll game one it, versus Centurion, which wasn't a really well represented deck in my opinion, it, it's um, a bit bad. So I have like these going second. This sending, this sending uh, Herald of Arclight to bounce something so they can't calamity and search or Hime or Illusions is pretty insane as well. And some, there's odd matchups where like nothing good is good to side going first and has to side the Lava Golems. So I maybe siding like one or two of these just because they're not dead. Um, this versus everything that puts up a big board. Again, I'm not stopping them. So, tier, uh, Manidium, a lot of different things. This is the best card. Um, deciding going first, take out the Lava Golems for this. Versus Unchained, even versus Lab, Dragons, Plants. Plants, e I started in this going second. Evenly, I think that's self-explanatory versus Lab. No, uh, Various other decks again. I'm trying to board break. I'm not. I'm trying to simplify the game state or OCK them. Um, if I simplify game state and use an arabesque and things like that, it's very hard for them to come back. It's a good frost target. Um, yeah, nothing else to say. Branded uh, Centurion and Angel Ring. I side like because a lot some decks I can't side in three cards. I have to side out three live worlds. Sometimes I side this in for like an extra interruption as well. And Bradamite can discard and attach this to anything that ha already has an equip so yeah like th this deck naturally takes a long time to combo unfortunately like my opponent is going to be reading my cards a lot as well um yeah again oh there's one more thing that i love about this deck because um there's so many ways to ock them there's the access code line um there is the line where you could grow them for like four and then do like for four thousand and then just do a little bit more damage like with, you leave their monster and you just have two or uh two mechanko and then just run into the monster there's some way you fire dance bring back your mechanko and then bring back their big guy you have Ohime, you both crash into the big guy, and an instant battle phase still, Ohime, use this, get Rondo to snatch the still in battle phase and attack with that for game. I, I think, like, it's very creative, and I, I had a lot of fun playing it. Alright, awesome, congratulations on Top 16, and uh, yeah, a very cool deck. Shout out to uh, Ed and all the gang that worked on it, so yeah, good job, and GG.